Salutations everyone, this is Razor here bringing you some kill confirm gameplay on the standoff Let's using the AN94 with select fire with the stealth chopper, orbital VSAT, and lodestar killstreaks. And uh, using the AN94 here, uh, first time on my channel, uh, obviously not the first time I've used it uh, because I got the select fire attachment and when it came to uh, going through all the assault rifles, uh, the AN94 AN is definitely one of my favesies. It is uh, it's pretty freaking awesome, and we would definitely see more people using it if not for it being the last assault rifle that you unlock in the game. Because uh, every now and again, I'll see someone using it, you know, with like a silencer and uh, target finder or whatnot, and so they, they usually do pretty well. But I think that out of all the fully auto assault rifles, the AN94 is the best one to make uh, three burst. Uh, because when I saw this gun and I tried it out, I thought, you know, it was pretty pretty darn good. Um, and what's very unique about this weapon is that the first two rounds are fast fired at a faster fire rate than the rest of the rounds. So what I found myself doing to take advantage of this awesome perk that this gun provides, I found myself burst firing this weapon uh, when it's in fully auto mode and, you know, taking advantage of of those two bullets being faster than the rest and just to uh, keep trying to get those uh, first two bullets uh, out at that fire rates to uh, maximize the lethality of this weapon. And it worked wonders for me. Um, and so I figured using the select fire would, uh, you know, help out even more so because I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, taking my finger off and off the, off and on the trigger. And I know some people might say, that there's really no use to use the select fire on any of the guns because it doesn't increase the damage output or any of this stuff. Um, it just uh, lowers the recoil, but you can do that with you know just burst firing it you know with your finger, and that and that's all fine. I understand that, uh, but it's still a fun attachment to use and for you to try out. And uh, if if you feel like the select fire is unnecessary, but you want to take advantage of this AN94's faster fire rate in the first two rounds, go ahead and use the select fire. Once you get used to that, you could uh, just switch it to fully auto with like, uh, I don't know, extended mags or whatever. It's got a pretty decently uh, quick reload, so dual mags are not necessary, and its recoil uh, doesn't demand a foregrip. So, you know, maybe extended uh, clip or stock would be a good choice. As you can see, I have run out of ammo with it, and I found this uh, fully auto foul to uh, to pwn these noobs with. You know, if you're gonna drop a good gun on the ground, I'm gonna go ahead and use it against you to uh, you know have my revenge. I mean, that's that that'll show that'll show uh, the enemy team for using such a strong weapon because I can pick it up and do far better than they ever could uh, with a good weapon. But um, uh, you know, trying to use the AN94 in this game. So once I die, you'll be seeing more of that. Um, so you should definitely, definitely try out this uh, attachment combo. Uh, I know uh, the AN94 is the last gun you unlock, so not all of you might have it right now. But before the, you prestige next time, uh, go ahead and pick up that AN94 and, you know, go grind through it uh, get that slick fire attachment if you haven't and give it a shot because it is really good it uh, really maximizes the lethality of this gun uh, I don't have it right now so I can't really talk about it, uh, examples of it that much but you saw earlier how I was just dispatching people with ease and you know when it comes to like going into like a room or something you can always hit that left uh, directional pad again and it's back to fully auto mode which is really nice i like how the uh, they gave you the option to, if you're three bursting it to revert it back to fully auto mode if you feel like that's something you need to do and it's just the flick of a switch you know it's real quick and easy uh, but still i really like using this gun as a three burst a uh, little bit of fail right here because I thought that the guy I was shooting at came out. Turns out it was another guy and get taken out right there. But I'm gonna go ahead and hop in my load star while the getting's good, while people are still in the lobby because, uh, you know, it's just like in the first Black Ops. Whenever you get your kill streaks up, um, you know, which are hard to get, unlike in Modern Warfare 3, anyone could get any kill streak that they wanted with the support bullshit. Um, but you know, when it came to like the bigger assault ones, like the Osprey Gunner and, and Reaper and stuff, you didn't see many of it because it was harder to do well in that game because, you know, anyone could just put on an ACR with a noob tube and just destroy your face. But you know, here in Black Ops 2, it's 
more akin to Black Ops 1 in that the higher killstreaks are harder to get, but with the uh, the Orbital V set, aka the Blackbird, aka the CIA Snitcher Roo, you can uh, you know find those people that you need to kill and you get those assist points as well. And when it comes to like uh, killstreaks stacking on top of each other, uh, some one of my subscribers uh, one of my thoughts about that i think it's a good balance um it, it doesn't uh, help you out too much um but you also just get rewarded for using those uh streaks that help out your team like the uav counter uav emp and orbital vsat so you'll get an assist every time your teammate gets a kill but i don't think it's too much you know it's 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 less than half of a kill so I think they, they they struck a good balance in there. You're still getting rewarded, but it's not uh, stacking up. So that way, when you get a, a, an orbital VSAT, you automatically get dr swarm or dogs or something. I mean, you, you should. I mean, there's no excuse not to if you can get that orbital VSAT. But at the same time, it's not automatic. Unlike, you know, in, in the Finny Wards games where if you got a Predator missile, you pretty much guaranteed to get that Harrier or attack helicopter or whatever it may be. Um, so I think they struck a good balance there. And uh, fortunately, not the entire team left when I got my load star. My stealth chopper only got one kill. And man, that stealth chopper is just so freaking weak. Uh, you know, during like the first week of the game, of course, you know, all the killstreaks were really good. But the stealth chopper was especially rape-tastic. And people were not shooting down anything. But, you know, since this game has been out for longer than two weeks... You know, it's been a couple months now. Uh, Stealth choppers are almost useless because they will get shot down incredibly fast. It only has uh, one flare, and it'll get taken out by anyone with a stinger. Um, not not uh, the small, though. The small takes like five shots to take down the stealth chopper. I don't understand that, but uh, you know, I'm thankful it's not getting shot down more than it already is. It'll usually get around two to three kills uh, every time you get it out, which really isn't worth it when you consider how high the stealth chopper is on the score streaks. Go ahead and take out this nerd's claymore with my C4, and then, and of course, it alerts him, and he takes me out with his shotgun. And from the, for the duration of the game, there's like two or three people with shotguns constantly camping in this uh, gas station. So, unfortunately, I get wiped out by them every single time. So, my score is not as good as it should have been. I should have learned from my mistakes after getting killed uh, one or two times, but, you know. What, what can you do? I wanted, I was I was being aggressive. I wanted to get those kills. I wanted to get those tags. And we don't have as large of a lead as I think we should have, especially since I have my V set up and then my load star. You know, teammates were not doing their job, but, you know, what can you expect from a bunch of randoms? Got my A94 back here with the select fire. I thought about shooting through the wall, but, you know, bullet penetration really isn't much existence in this game. And I switched back to the fully auto because I knew people camping in here, and uh, the second guy gets me. But that's okay. Too bad I couldn't get my kill streaks up again. But uh, you know that's all right. At least at least you get them all once. If you feel really uh, you feel really silly and embarrassed if you put up those high kill streaks and you don't even get a single one of them. Uh, but thankfully that was not the case in this game. Even more so if you put on low kill streaks and you still can't get them, which yeah, I still kind of have troubles with. Uh, you know, in some games like team deathmatch, so score streaks are completely useless in team deathmatch because you just can't get them. And when you do, you know, the game's over. You know, by the time you get 12 kills in a row to get that orbital VSAT, um, or whatever the fuck it is, 15, 100 kills in a row. I mean, you need you need five kills in a row to get a, a UAV in Team Deathmatch. I mean, you know, four kills and, you know, two assists, but, you know, that's it usually translates to getting five kills. Uh, but anyway, we're able to uh, clean them up right there. Here, final score is 38 and 11 with, uh, like, a billion confirms, a couple of dies. 3 bar, 4 bar, whatevsies. I got the N94. It's 3 bursting. It's pretty awesome. Check it out. Comments appreciated. And if you want to subscribe, go ahead and do yourself a favor and hit that button. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.